Hello everybody and welcome to my 12th uh, 2013 Microsoft Access tutorial. And this tutorial is going to show you how you can filter out the information from your queries. So let's say I only want to um, see uh, those for the, where the name is Matt Sands. Uh, so let's go into, let's close this one off actually and create a new one. So let's just copy and paste and put Matt Sales. And let's go into the design mode. And what I can do in here is in this criteria row, I can set criteria for which records it, I want it to bring in. So in my username field, I'm going to put my criteria as Matt Sands. Uh, and what this does is when I run this, so let's save, close, and let's open it up. It's only going to bring through the criteria for Matt Sands. Um, and then similarly, uh, we let's say we only want it to bring through chocolate cake. Let's go into our design view. And in our item name, let's just put chocolate cake. Now I've got two criteria in here. So if I go into my data sheet view, it's only going to bring through those that are chocolate cake and those that are Matt Sands. Um, so that's what putting multiple ones in for different things do. You'll notice that you've got more rows that say or. So we can put through multiple different criteria. So that's what say we want to bring through any chocolate cakes for me or any uh, crisps. And let's just check this one called yeah, crisps uh, for... Uh, Molly Smith um, and let's run this I don't know if she's actually got any yep she's like, bought two packets well four packets of crisps um, and brought three for her so with the putting them in the all row just allows you to have multiple different ones uh, so all you got to remember is going across is an and uh, and then going down is an or um, you've got to be careful if you are putting the same thing for one of them. So let's say we want chocolate cake for both of them. You need to fill it in for both. So when we run this, uh, it's going to bring through chocolate cake for... Well, Marley hasn't got any chocolate cake, so it's not bringing any through for her. For her. Um, but if we only put it in for one of them and run it, then it's treating the um, the second one as separate. So it's saying chocolate cake and Matt Sands then it's saying or any that have Miley Smith regardless of what their item name is because I put their item name blank um, so that's the basics of filling in criteria uh, in the next tutorial I'll show you how to get a little bit more complex using a few operators and things so thanks for listening and I'll catch you in the next tutorial